The Senate President, Senator Ahmed Lawan, is one of the dignitaries attending the National Summit on COVID-19 organized by the Presidential Steering Committee in Abuja. The summit, which also has representatives of the diplomatic community in attendance, aims to enable the government to build back from the pandemic as Nigeria targets eliminating the virus by the end of 2022. We are here to assess the level of impact of our national response and develop strategies as we push through the last mile to end the pandemic while we build back better. Consequently, this summit is a follow-up towards Nigeria's commitment to the ambitious global agenda stop movement to end the COVID-19 pandemic by the year 2022 and building back better. Over the years, Nigeria has continued to grapple with seasonal outbreaks of diseases. Even though these outbreaks have overstretched the health system, it does appear that the main challenge which has weakened the country's health system is the lack of financial accountability. In an emotionally packed presentation, one of Nigeria's foremost virologists, Professor Oyewale Tomori, describes the lack of financial accountability in the health system as the real enemy of the people. Our underdevelopment and backwardness rest on four pillars. They are the real enemies of our nation. And they are the one, lack of patriotism, self-interest, corruption, and four, shamelessness. Mr. President, sir, and distinguished people who are here, anytime I think of Nigeria, I have Nigeria in my mind. I speak. I speak with passion. I, I, I'm, I'm deeply emotional. There's fever in my body. And I have to hold on to something to steady my stand. I have to hold on to something to steady my stand. I have wept for this country on several occasions. I will try not to do so today, but it looks like I'm failing. To build back better, Professor Tomori canvasses the urgent need to address the accountability issues in the sector. If we must reposition our country to end current and future diseases and pandemics, we must start with building back better those aspects of our culture that, that revered honor, that treasured integrity, that prized probity, that appreciated accountability, that valued transparency, that embraced honesty, that practiced fairness, that ensured equity, that dispensed justice fairly, and which cherished patriotism. A standing ovation for Professor Tomori. In a similar vein, the Senate President, who expresses dissatisfaction over the absence of the two Ministers of Health at the summit, gives the National Assembly's assurance of adequate appropriation for health in 2022. But this promise comes with a condition. In the 2022 appropriation, which is luckily to be passed by the 14th or 16th of this month, whatever is necessary will be provided, but there is a condition. Those who will be given those funds, and that's why I ask for the ministers, need to provide the kind of prudence that is necessary. The Federal Minister of Health is supposed to be here to garner all the resources that will come out of this. And as politicians and political leaders, we're supposed to be very serious and committed to the health of our people. The Minister of Health, Dr. Osage Ehanire, who came earlier to the summit, left the hall without any presentation.